we're recording, I think. Awesome. No, I'm joking. Uh, <laughs> so this is uh, Mini I'm in a Car. Uh, we got Seth Partridge joining us, so thank you for doing this. Glad to be here. Um, Seth is our anchor speaker at uh, Lead Yourself 2018 at the Cutting Fields on, on Thursday, May 10th. It's going to be awesome. Bring it home. It's going to be so much fun. So, uh, it's the first time I've ever been the anchor man. Oh, nice. That's not true. I've dressed up as Ron Burgundy many times. Yeah, <laughs> milk was a bad choice. Milk was a bad choice. It's so hot. <laughs> um, you're doing your talk on courage. Yeah, courage. Um, a couple of years ago, I guess it's like five years ago now, I remember hearing a really memorable quote that stuck with me on courage. And then uh, as I kind of like lived life and was in situations where I had to be courageous, I realized that the quote wasn't exactly what courage is, and then I kind of stumbled across something else, so we'll be talking about that. So what made you um, pick courage as a topic? And courage is something that I think has a lot, like a lot of people can have a lot of different interpretations of it. Sure. So what was it about courage that made you think, you know what, the theme of lead yourself is taking action this year? Yeah. And so what made courage stand out to you as a meaningful talking subject? For sure. Um, I think for me, courage has been something that I've finally gotten back to in, in my years. I, I had a, I had some very, uh, I guess like everyone has like semi-traumatic experiences like when they're growing up and things like maybe maybe you don't have friends or, or maybe, maybe you have a hard time fitting in or maybe you have a hard time like kind of like finding your place or figuring out where you want to go. And I think these like these events aren't easy to go through. But I think they can be really valuable learning experiences for us and uh, in reflecting upon like where my journey has taken me uh, throughout my life and, and realizing that you know, I, there's a lot of things that used to hold me back that aren't holding me back now. I realized that courage and doing things in spite of how you feel uh, has been a big, big uh, proponent to uh, kind of arrive at where I'm at today. Cool. So then when it... When you refer to these ideas and, and how they've impacted your your, your journey, um, how does that translate into leadership? Ooh, that's a good question. I guess what it comes down to is as leaders, many times we, we know the direction we need to go and we know steps that will take us hopefully in that direction, but we don't always know if they're going to work and that can be really scary. And uh, people who I... In, in the, the most black and white definition who fit uh, the title of leader would be people who do in spite of how they feel and I think that's what courage is cool wow that was very well said that's the talk so no yeah. I'm just kidding there's more <laughs> <laughs> where that was perfectly framed and I couldn't have asked for a better soundbite for the intro video so cool thanks for doing this awesome and if you want to register for the event you can uh, find it on Eventbrite just search uh, Lead Yourself Guelph or Lead Yourself 2018 and uh, you can set up tickets for 60 bucks. Awesome. It's also my birthday, so I will be accepting presents afterward. Nice. Well played, sir. <laughs> Thanks for doing this, son. Glad to be here. All right, see you guys.